there. So today I'm going to show you how you can make kuchiri super easily in your crock pot. So the first thing I've done is I've had this little slow cooker and I've put it on high setting so to let the inside warm. What I'm going to do is I have my dal and rice ready. I'm going to make only for one person, right? So for one person, my hands are clean, I promise, you need two fistfuls of dal, right? I mean, that's how traditionally measurements were done. Back in uh, back in the Ayurvedic days, right? Everything was done fistfully. So I have two fistfuls of dal of the moon in dal, and one fistful of the rice. So this is I'm sorry for the mess. These are pre-washed. That's why they're a little sticky and slimy. It gives me about one cup. Okay, wash my hands. Okay. So I have this ready, it's pre-washed, that's the proportion, two cups of dal, and sorry, two fistfuls of dal and one fistful of rice, right? Now I am going to roast my spices on the side. So I take a deep, one of these deep spoons, I put my key in that, let the key warm up. So this is a lot of key for, for a lot of people because I'm so, my body is so used to ghee because I've eaten ghee since the day I was born. Like not the day I was born, but since I started eating solid foods. So I'm okay with this level of ghee. I need it to keep my body hydrated. Then I'm gonna put some cumin and coriander seeds. You can just put plain cumin as well, right? They're gonna splutter a little bit. You can see they're spluttering. I'm gonna put some asafoetida. I'm gonna put some mustard seeds. So if you don't have all of this, all you need to do is use cumin, right? And you can use a cinnamon stick, you can use a bay leaf. This is what I'm gonna use for today. So you can even just change it up for your, uh, when you want. This is ready. I'm going to throw this in to my crock pot. Now my crock pot is already warm, not bad for this. My crock pot is already nice and warm, and I've thrown this into the crock pot. I have my rice and dal that I'm going to throw in there. I can add whatever wedgies I want. So I, for today, I'm going to use carrots. I'm going to use some carrots. No, I'm going to use some onions. some peas. I love to use zucchini. I just didn't have zucchini today and I'm going to just use some fresh corn. And then I'm going to I just threw this in there. Now, now it's the time to put water, right? So luckily I had this measured. I'm going to put at least three times because I like my kidri softer. Maybe I'm going to put four times. But before I put that in, I'm going to add some yummy spices. This is also again optional. For me, I always add Himalayan salt. So this is, I've added Himalayan salt. I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric. Cooking is very intuitive, so you don't, you know, once you start doing it, that was a little bit of cumin. And then I'm going to measure my water. Three cups, three of these exact same bowls. Two. And as it starts cooking, I can add more or less water once I check it in a few hours. So uh, I'm gonna just stir this up. And I'm gonna let this kitchen cook by itself. And that, that was as easy as that.